In the last few years, we've seen an incredible resurgence of the 3D platformer genre, with games like the Crash and Sane trilogy and Super Mario Odyssey, but we haven't seen that much from the 2D platformer. Sure, Kirby Star Allies released just a few months ago, but it probably didn't satiate players who were really looking to sink their teeth into a new side-scroller. Enter Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Released on the Nintendo Wii U in 2014, it sold only a fraction of what Donkey Kong Country Returns did on the Wii and Nintendo 3DS. For many, the Nintendo Switch release will be the first opportunity to dive into this adventure, and the game is all the better for making the jump to Nintendo's hybrid console. While many aren't expecting a deep story from a DKC game, at least the opening cutscene does a good job of setting the tone. Just as DK goes to celebrate his birthday, the evil snowmads come to ruin the fun, kick the Kongs out, and take over Donkey Kong Island. It's then your job to lead DK and the crew through each island to retake DK Island. While Tropical Freeze might not be particularly innovative in its gameplay, it is an incredibly tight and at times challenging platformer, especially if you're looking to grab all the collectibles. Enemies and obstacles are varied enough that you never get sick of one mechanic before being introduced to the next. Level design here is outstanding, spacing out tense moments between more pleasant sections of a level where you can take in the sights and sounds. One big difference from the Wii U version though is that you can play as Funky Kong, which will really come in handy for those wanting a smoother ride through the game. Funky has 5 hearts, doesn't take damage on spikes, and can double jump and glide. Other advantages of playing on Nintendo Switch include a better resolution and faster loading times, as well as the opportunity to play on the go of course. Tropical Freeze's visuals are bright and colourful. While the graphics can feel a little flat at times, it's important to note that the levels are always easy to read at a glance, especially if you're wanting to challenge yourself to run through the game quickly. The setting also changes pretty much every level, with some gorgeous visual design in some of the silhouette stages. The soundtrack from David Wise also does an incredible job of keeping each stage within an island feeling fresh, with a few tracks that harken back to old classics from the Super Nintendo. Easy to pick up and hard to put down, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze has been brought masterfully to Nintendo's new console for audiences new and old alike. For series veterans, it serves as more of what they're looking for in the series, and it's even more accessible to people getting into Donkey Kong for the first time. More than that, it brings what the original version brought and enhances it, and it makes me even more excited for more hidden gems from the Wii U to come to the Switch.